Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to begin decorating our scene with static meshes inside of our level. Now as of right now we just have this basic little layout here and it's made out of, entirely out of BSP, so that's binary space partitioning. Now what this is, it's just basic little blocks here and it has a basic little texture on it. What we're going to be doing is replacing it with static meshes that we get from the Infinity Blade grasslands and the Firelands and all of those asset packs that we downloaded previously. Now if you don't have those asset packs already make sure you do go ahead and add them to your project from the marketplace. If you want to see how I did that just jump back a couple of videos and you'll see exactly how we did it. But for now let's get started and start putting in some of the structural meshes. Now when it comes to decorating a scene I like to do it in two parts. First things first, you have your structural meshes, so that's going to be things like your walls, your floor, your ceiling, um, your pillars and all of that stuff. And then in addition to that, after that we do a decorative mesh stage, which is when we start putting all the decorative uh, elements in there like your lights, your boxes, your destructible items and all of that good stuff. So for now in today's video, I am pretty much just going to focus on turning this little thing into something that looks half decent and pretty much covers all the walls, the pillars and that good stuff. So. In terms of getting to those assets, once again, like I said, it's inside the Infinity Blade got a Grasslands pack, and then just go to that in your content browser, go to Environments, and then go to Miscellaneous, and then it's exo underscore deco uh, o2, and then just open up the static mesh folder, and then from there you have access to all of these little bits here that we can use. Now, so first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these two little pillars that I've got here and I'm going to replace them with some proper pillars. So I'm going to just quickly select that BSP brush and I'm going to delete it and then I'm simply going to place this one in the scene here um, instead. So I got that one. So that's the big one. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I might even put two of them on top actually. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of different columns that we've got available to us. We've got a little one just above that. Um, so I'm going to quickly delete this one and I will put this one in its place. And then what I'm going to do, because this is really small at the moment, I'm just simply going to grab my scale tool and then from there I'm just going to scale it up a bit to make it nice and big. It's also going to make it thicker. Um, so if you don't like the look of that then just try and use something else um, or if you wanted to you can even put two of these little ones on top of each other. But if I go ahead and press play and then if I go and run into these hopefully I should still be able to jump over them. They also have built in collision which is quite nice. The second one I can't jump over unless I use my gravity boost so I can jump over that just nicely and that all works exactly how I want it to. So. That's those bits done. So the next bit what I want to do is I actually want to cover uh, this bit here. So all of this stuff doesn't look too great at the minute. So I'm going to put some little pieces of wall over it to cover that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab something that I can use. So just got to go through this and find something. So I had something really nice that I was using earlier to do it. So I'm going to use this little cover thing that I've got here. And then I'm going to rotate it and I'm just going to cover it over just like this and generally what I like to do is I actually like to just cover the whole thing so just go over it I don't want to replace it for now I still want the uh, the, coll the collision and everything to be there so I'm going to cover it just like this and I'm going to place that there and it doesn't look too bad now I need to make sure it lines up with my stairs as well so I'm just going to move it over to the left a little bit and it's also a little bit too short at the moment so once again I'm just making these tiny little minor adjustments and if it's clipping a bit too much just over it is like it is here Go over to our snapping and just turn that off, just uncheck it and then that gives you a little bit more control over exactly what you're doing. Once you've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this mesh by pressing Control c Control v and then from there I can drag it out and just put a couple of these into our scene. So just keep pressing Control v to paste it and then all you get and then you just put it in there. If you can't use the keyboard shortcuts for whatever reason just right click copy and then paste it's entirely up to you but I'm just going to keep adding these into my scene and you can see this is actually starting to come to life and it looks quite nice and I'm going to put one last one of these at the end here. Now it does go over a little bit um, but that's not too, too much of an issue. We're going to cover the rest of the wall so it's just going to look like one hole but if I go ahead and press play at the minute and start running up here uh, well you can't really see it unless you zoom out but stuff looks good anyway. So 
Next bit that I'm going to do, I'm not going to worry about doing the other side because the camera can't see this side and just not going to touch it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to replace the stairs. Now the thing is with the assets that you get for the stairs in this little pack is you'll find they're actually hollow which doesn't work too great for us. So what you could do, you could go and place these over the stairs just like that or you could do something else which is what I'm going to do. I'm simply going to put a material on the BSP brush to make it look like it's one whole mesh because the other one, there's just no sides to which it doesn't look great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of the faces on here and then I'm going to go into my little materials folder here and then I'm just going to drag on a material on there to see how it looks. And to me that looks alright. So I'm just going to keep trying some of the different materials to try and get the look and the style that I'm after. Um, and that one that looks okay, that looks like it's bricks. Now if I wanted to, I can even change the size of these little bricks that I've got here using m underscore villa underscore pillar underscore one and I just use do that using the UV scale here. So if I set this to two, it makes it bigger, so twice as big. I don't want it to be that big, so what I'm going to do is set this to something like 0 0.5, uh, sorry 1.5 by 1.5. So just change that all in the, ge in the geometry panel down below here. So once I've done that and I'm happy with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and select all of the faces this time and I'm going to just simply drag that one material on there and that will make everything look quite nice. So keep going, keep going. And then we've also got to do the sides in a minute as well, but we'll get around to that. So that one, that one, and that one. So let's just drag that on. There you are, and we've got our steps. Now, we'll, well, now, we'll have, now all I've got to do is just go ahead and apply that same material to the side of my steps. Now, this is the easy bit. So just like that, and then just drag it on. Once again, like I said, I'm not really going to worry about the other side. Also, scale is a bit off here, so once again, it's going to be 1.5 by 1.5. Now when you're working with materials on BSP I try to keep the same UV scale on it because otherwise it looks a bit distorted, it looks like it doesn't match. Um, this looks quite nice to me actually so I'm going to leave it at exactly that. Now if you wanted to you could even go and fill the floor here with simply just a a material as well it's entirely up to you I mean or you could also use some of the broken tiles that you have available to us or we got the full tiles so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these so we got the broken tiles over here simply drag it into your scene just like that and you've also got a couple of variations as well so you've got the small bits uh, that are broken up like that it's entirely up to you um, for me I'm just going to use um, a mixture of yeah I'm just gonna use a mixture of these two so I'm going to simply just place those down on my scene. So I'm going to see if I can line that up. I don't want it to be sticking too far above the floor. Um, but for me that actually lined up quite well. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to line this one up with this now. So just drag it across. And when you are doing flooring, I am actually going to use my snapping so it snaps into place quite easily. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy this one over and then just let that snap in copy this one over just keep moving it along and along and along just like this so I'm gonna have two of these here like that and then I'm gonna have another one of the broken pieces as well so just copy and paste this in and just doing the same thing actually you know what? I'm gonna use this piece again and then I'm going to have two more, I think, by the looks of things. So I'll have one more broken one, not broken one, a, a one clean one, one dirty one. And I'm just going to place that in just like that. So let's press play, see how this looks now. So that looks quite nice. We've got our little broken pillars here. We've got all of our effects going, which is quite nice. I can still jump over this. We've got all of our flooring. I haven't done this piece of the stairs yet. It's only going to take two seconds. Once again, it's just going to be a case of applying that material. Also need to do these stairs here. And I'm just going to drag this over just like this. So we've got one piece two pieces. Don't worry about it looking a bit too odd because I'm about to put a little wall piece over here. So what I'm going to do is let's see what we can do to make that look okay. So I'm going to go in here, see if I can find like a little door or something I can use. Not a door. What do I want a door for? Okay. Um, so that's pretty much the whole bottom section. So let's do the top section as well now. Once again, I'm just going to be copying these little elements up here. 
and I'm just going to be pasting it in. So I'm just going to have two of these for each part that we're running across. And I've also got to make sure I line these up perfectly as well. So line those up and then I'm going to move them down so they're level with the BSP. And I'm also going to be adjusting the BSP in a moment just to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to make sure I leave plenty of space here as well. Um, so this one I don't really want to be moving because if you remember I've already got the platform going to be attached to that. So I don't want to be moving it across because it's just going to make things a little bit awkward. Um, so these ones are going to move across. Just move it there. And then with the BSP, simply dragging it across to hide it behind there so that so the player can't actually see it. So there we go. And then you can put the you can put the towels up here if you want to afterwards. It's entirely up to you. This piece of BSP, I'm gonna go into my geometry editing mode and I'm gonna make this a little bit longer. So I'm gonna to get to geometry editing mode. I'm gonna select this little face here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply drag it out, make it longer, make it fit just like that. Now what I want you guys to do, I'm not going to sit here and go through the whole level uh, adding in these static meshes, I want you guys to play around with some of the different meshes um, that you have got available to you. Focus on the structural things for now, so that's the walls, the floors, the ceilings, um, the pillars and all of that good stuff. For now we've got a pretty good base here, we've got some flooring, we've got some stairs, we've got some pillars um, and it's starting to come to life. So play around with it and I will see you in the next video where we start working on the decorative stuff. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.